Hello there, my beautiful Taurus, and welcome to your end of December love reading with me, Miss Machiste. Taurus, we are looking into your love life for the rest of the month of December and what will be coming into your love life for early January. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and this reading can resonate for my Taurus sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe and returning Taurus, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. My December giveaways are rolling into January for the new year. I'm giving away a free reading or $50 cash. All you have to do to enter to win is subscribe to my channel and comment your name in the comments section on any recent reading. Check the community page every Monday for a new winner announced. So Spirit, this is for Taurus. Taurus, stick around towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each zodiac sign feelings for you. We are doing the you versus them spread. For some of you, Taurus and Taurus cross watchers, the reading may resonate backwards, reverse flipped. Please assign the roles as you wish and take what messages are yours and leave the rest behind. Spirit, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the rest of December into January for love. All right, Taurus, I don't take flyers. That was the King of Pentacles, you Taurus. So let's see what's coming in. In your energy, we have the Page of Pentacles. We also have the Ace of Cups and we have the Page of Wands. All right, in the mutual energy between you and whoever you are connecting to or will be connecting to is the Five of Cups, <clears throat> the Nine of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Whoever you are connecting to or will be connecting to comes in as the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Cups. All right, Taurus. So in your energy, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Wands. So you definitely look open to giving something a chance to start. A chance to start over again, a chance to start in general. Do keep in mind, you could be on either side. Please resonate in which way you feel like this is resonating for you. I'm going to read it as I have placed it out for Taurus. So Taurus, in your energy, you definitely do look like you are receiving some sort of messages and some sort of offers are available for you to start something new, start a new cycle in romance, start a new... <clears throat> Sorry, I have been sick, so I probably am going to sound a little bit off, but I do want to get readings out for y'all. Anyways, Taurus, so I definitely do feel like you are open to starting something here. You're feeling passionate about it. You're willing to learn from what's going on in front of you. This could be a totally new cycle with somebody new where you are very open. The attraction is here. You feel it. They feel it. There is plans being made or will be made at least for you to be available to choose from if you want to go or not to go or to continuously plan with somebody towards the future. There's definitely an energy here of newness. At least that's how you feel it looks like to you. You feel like it does look new and it does look like something that does excite you. So <clears throat> it looks like exciting offers are coming in for you. In whoever you are connecting to's end, they come in as the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Cups. So it definitely looks like this person is in a position of wanting to have emotional satisfaction from love, from this connection with you. I do feel like they feel very happy to have met you. With the Eight of Cups here, they definitely could be still going through a process of healing and moving on from energies within themselves. I do feel like... If this is a new person, they definitely view you as somebody that can really help them get over any sort of past pain or any sort of past disappointments. And if this is an energy that you are already aware of or have already sort of experienced or are experiencing, I definitely do feel like this 
newness that you two are stepping into is giving this person a sense of we will be able to get over the past if Taurus takes these new offers, if Taurus wants to embark on this newer cycle that I have in store for us that I feel like will make us a lot happier in this connection. So this person looks pretty happy with what they're giving and they do feel like it could help them remove blockages, feelings, hurts from the past, whether it had to do with you and this could be a totally better cycle for the both of you or something that happened on their own, but they definitely feel like this could bring them that emotional satisfaction. And between between the two of you, you have the Five of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. So I feel like you both want to feel this valued feeling from emotion, but you two don't want to have to go through that cycle of continuously asking the other person for it. You two want to have the cycle where it's open, it's giving, it's loving, it's caring, and there's not necessarily a need to ask for it. So this could be the dynamic that you're stepping in with this person now, where before it was a lot of constant disappointments, asking for things, feeling let down over expectations, where now you two are sitting in more of a position of observing one another and seeing how the other person acts and treats this connection without necessarily it does look like there's a pullback on asking for someone to do something in a certain way it's more like let's see you do it now that we've had these cycles already let's see if this new cycle can just bring a sense of we're doing what we've said and spoke and given to one another and actually following through with it without having to be reminded per se with the high priestess of the nine of pentacles and also if this is a new person i feel like that's sort of the same kind of vibe there is not a huge energy of wanting to neither of you have an energy of wanting to tell the other person or ask the other person to be treated a certain way so this new cycle is definitely going to be very observant in how each other acts towards the other so let's clarify this here for you Taurus in terms of zodiac signs I do have Virgo and Pisces so let's see your energy please clarify Taurus side here and we have the lovers yeah so this connection is definitely very strong and you two both feel that and you at least on your end for sure the offers seem pretty good that you want to give this a chance to see how this connection will unfold. It's definitely giving a sense of, I'm excited for this renewed cycle or this cycle that has presented itself. Let's see in the mutual energy here between the two of you and we have the nine of wands. Yeah, neither of you really want to be in that asking energy. I don't want to have to ask you to do what you have said that you were going to do. I don't want to have to ask you to treat me in a certain way or respect me in a certain way. It looks like you two have been through a lot in terms of love in general or just in this connection where... Neither of you are at least energetically in a position of reminding or asking somebody how they should be or reminding somebody how they should be for this new cycle that is here in this connection or in your love life. So let's clarify their energy. And they have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they definitely want to work on this connection. I'm telling you, they feel like their offers are really good. They are willing to work, put in the work in, and your side looks like you look pretty energetically happy with the offers this person is presenting to you, and they're hoping it really helps you to move forward in this connection or just move forward in general. So let's clarify your energy here with the lovers. Definitely a soulmate connection here. The lovers is six of cups. Definitely somebody you feel connected to. Page of pentacles here twice. Yeah, there are offers on the table here, Taurus, on your side. And it does look like you feel like they're good enough to be accepted in. And I see you giving it a, a somewhat chance to see where it goes. I definitely see that on your end. And it definitely looks like this person is feeling excited that you're either receptive or somewhat receptive towards them. Because you are coming in with page-like energy, but it does show that you feel the connection to this person as well. Definitely could be a new person. Why is the Nine of Wands here? 
or a lot better offers on the table. The Eight of Swords, yeah. Still in that energy of you both not wanting to be too... too in the head about where this newer sense is going to go. You both don't want to let your minds play tricks on you in this situation and kind of just going with a go with the flow sort of energy and a building. We're building now. This person's definitely coming through with offers to build. Eight of Pentacles here, Six of Pentacles to have this balance with you, to have this reciprocation from you as well. So... I see this person in a very large giving nature towards you, Taurus. It looks like until you give into this connection that they feel so strongly towards you and reciprocate back to whatever sort of extent that you are reciprocating. It could just be a response or it could just be a, yeah, let's go do this or let's be this. Let's have this new cycle. Let's work on this sort of thing. No matter how you're being receptive towards this person, her, how you decide to be, they feel like any sort of reciprocation towards you is feeling really good for them as I'm going to get a chance for Taurus. I'm not going to bring up the past. Let's move on from that. And they may have a super large energy where they feel like you are their wish fulfillment here with this Nine of Cups. Or you being receptive towards their offers are extremely their wish fulfillment. So... Very large energy of wanting to start something or continuously work on something and totally new energy here for you, Taurus. They have offers and I don't feel like they're necessarily not going to keep giving them until they feel some sort of reciprocation from your energy. So offers definitely on the table here. Taurus, there is a little bit of insinuation of work. You may work with this person or meet them through some sort of workplace dynamic. And I do feel like this could be any sort of energy, new person, reconciliation sort of energy with the lovers or your current person where you two are just starting completely over and really trying to match at a soul level a lot better than how you two were in the past or at least with past people so strong earth i'm getting and i have gemini also with the virgo and pisces all rest are minor arcana so taurus now let's look into your oracle and then we will get each zodiac sign's feelings for you Spirit, this is for Taurus for the end of December into January in love. For Taurus, what's their oracle? Thank you, Spirit. We have commitment. Yeah, definitely a lot of building towards that or hoping to or continuously doing that. We have divine timing. And we have understanding. Yeah, so there's definitely large offers on the table or real offers that will bring a relationship or a connection to strengthen the bond you two share in this physical level. It is definitely available for you here, Taurus. They are coming your way. So let's look into it all the way from Aries to Pisces. Please show me each zodiac sign's feelings for Taurus. All the way from Aries to Pisces, each zodiac sign feelings for Taurus. All right, we have Aries feelings for you, the Hierophant, definitely interested in some sort of commitment. They definitely feel very spiritually connected to you as well. We have Taurus feelings for you, Taurus, as the sun. They feel like they have clarity on where they stand with this connection. They do find a sense of happiness with you as well, could share a child with a Taurus. Next we have is, who's third? Gemini's feelings for you as the Ten of Cups. Gemini definitely feels like you are their person, you are their one, or you bring them this extreme sense of blissful happiness when you two are together. You could also be dealing with a Gemini who is very focused on their family. We have Cancer's feelings for you as the Hermit. So Cancer is in a healing mode from this connection. They may be totally out of this relationship and healing from this relation, healing from this connection altogether. Or you could be dealing with a Cancer who is going through a healing process from an illness or an injury. Leo's feelings for you are the Fool. So Leo is very interested in having this new start, this fresh new beginning with you. Could be a new Leo or a chance to start completely new with a Leo. 
Virgo's feelings for you are the Eight of Cups. So Virgo feels the need for you two to walk away from the past or walk away from this connection altogether. Libra's feelings for you, Seven of Wands. Libra is feeling very defensive towards this relationship. They may be choosing their words wisely or being a bit of... Um, this gives me sort of beating around the bush-like energy. So your Libra may be coming in very indirect or not direct at all. Next is Scorpio's feelings for you, Nine of Pentacles. Scorpio is very interested in being seen by you. They are willing to give to this relationship while they are also going through their growing process themselves. We have Sagittarius feelings for you as the Queen of Swords. So Sagittarius is in a position right now of detaching from their emotions, but they are still willing and open to talk to you here. You may have felt very cut off or harsh words from a Sagittarius, um, but they are in a if they were harsh towards you, I do feel like they are in a more sense of trying to calm down and be willing to talk. If there has been harsh words between the two of you both, then I do feel like they are detaching and trying to figure out... I get this feeling of needing to calm down still. I don't know why. Um, or some of you, you're just dealing with a Sagittarius who cut you off and they may need time to cool off still. Next is Capricorn's feelings for you. Ace of Cups, new love or renewed sense of love coming in from a Capricorn. Could be a confession of love as well. Next up is Aquarius feelings for you. Nine of Swords, so some stress coming in from Aquarius. Some sort of sleepless nights. They're having anxiety over this connection. And Pisces feelings for you are the Nine of Cups. So Pisces feels like you are their wish fulfillment. They're feeling very emotionally satisfied in this connection. And they feel like you are somebody that they can bring them this extreme sense of satisfaction towards a happy connection or relationship. So Taurus, let's make sure everybody's out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, Taurus, thank you for being here and for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of December. Happy New Year. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye now.